Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the loaded no miss dice let us begin okay so when it comes towards this particular gold farm you're going to be wanting to make sure that you have a rogue as this is a rogue specific gold farm and what you're going to be wanting to do is make your way over towards all doom all doom right above the obelisk of the moon is a load of these different types of troops which are the schnotz infantry men Basically, these guys have a chance of dropping the loaded gnomish dice, where they come in a load of different types of packs, and you're wanting to pickpocket these guys in order to get a hold of this actual particular toy. Which, if we go in towards Worth It and we go down towards Toys, we can see that the loaded gnomish dice is going for around about 31,986 gold, and sells actually quite well. Sell rate at the moment is sell it, it says 0.01. But overall, I find that this to be the fastest of the selling of the dices, and it is reflected in the price as well. However, we'll be wanting to first make sure that we actually have our lovely character. We're going to want to go into stealth, and we're going to be wanting to see the pack leader. If we come over here and we see the pack leader, we're going to use our macro, which I've actually put into the Discord under farmed information or farmed info where you guys can actually check that out and you can farm that up what you're going to be wanting to do if you actually sap this guy then all of the troops will actually stay still so you're able to easily farm up all of these mobs in a relatively easy-esque fashion and just farm these guys up however if you get too close these guys can actually uh aggro and then that will be a bit of a pain in the bum for yourself but once you pickpocket all of these guys you'll want to attack at least one of them do your thing and reset them by killing them if you leave them to reset their pockets normally this will take a lot longer than killing them and waiting for them to reset and overall farming this up is fairly straightforward now the loaded gnomish dice says it's at a 0.01 drop chance this what this is why this area is particularly good for farming this up because there is so many of these mobs you have so many chances and overall in my estimations of farming this up and I've done a lot of farming of this item this is predominantly the predominantly the easiest of the dices to get a hold of as there's so many mobs so do not worry about the drop chance overall just keep farming these guys up so we'll clear these guys right now after we've actually farmed these guys up you can do this a lot faster obviously i'm recording so i'm trying to show you as and when we're actually doing this but once you've actually cleared them slay them then loot them up and then get on your mount once you've cleared all these guys you're going to want to make your way down doing the exact same thing with every pack of mobs flying all the way down and once you actually reach the bottom, you're going to want to take out the last packs of mobs and then fly all the way back up towards the top of the area. This is when you'll be waiting for around about two minutes, depending on how fast you're actually farming this up, and then those packs of mobs will reset. However, if you have done this incredibly fast, then there is more mobs on the other side which is just located over here, but realistically you won't need to do that as predominantly for me I don't need to ever do this but you can always farm up the guys over here as well for the mobs but other than that that is the gold farm for the loaded gnomish dice it's fairly easy to get a hold of and in every farm of I've actually done I've only had one instance of farming this up where I've had to do it and get it on the second hour as opposed to the first hour of getting it every time that being said, this is one of the last rogue specific gold farms and it's fairly easy in order to do. Other than that guys, if you want to support the channel in any other ways, feel free to go over to my other channel, Dalla, where I'm covering all of my different types of other void lore based stuff, along with the manga, the game, all that stuff. I've got loads of stuff going in the works and I'd love to see some support. Other than that, take it easy and I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day.